When you are lost in life, you don't know what path to pursue. Here is what I do. Also, what a beautiful day to be alive. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Welcome to Patia, Patia, Thailand. You told me a month ago I would be here. I'd laugh at you. So, being lost, not knowing what path to pursue. You're at a fork in the road of life. You may have one fork, you may have, or you may have two paths in front of you. You may have multiple, you may have 10, 20, who knows? And you're faced with these hardships, you're faced with these decisions. These decisions could absolutely and utterly alter the course of your life. And you're at a standstill. You're steadfast, but you're at a standstill. And this is an exact predicament that I was in yesterday, actually. Deciding if, deciding, well, I'm not gonna go in depth in it on this video, maybe it's something I can do later, but deciding whether I should go this way, whether I should direct my life this way, or whether I should direct my life this way. Each of these paths have huge changes to every measurable metric of your life and how you see it. So how do you choose? The very first thing you do is you pray to God you ask God to show you signs. And not only that, not only do you just ask him to show you signs, you look, you're diligent, you're perspicacious, you're looking, for, you're, you're astute, you're looking at scenarios and you're trying to find and see and visualize what ways God is trying to tell you something. You're trying to see the signs that he's giving you, not just asking, but looking, seeing, being ready being steadfast for the signs that he's going to show you. And the way I do this is first of all, read the Bible. When I'm having troubled thoughts or I just don't know what to go or what to think or where to go or what to think, I open Proverbs and I read some verses and I analyze and I reflect on those verses and I see how they fit to my life and see how they co correlate and contribute to the fork in the road that I'm at. And I pray I read the Bible and I also self-reflect and meditate. You quiet your mind for 30 minutes and you think whilst praying, you also think to yourself the situations and the effects that would happen if you put yourself on the path on an example path. So if you had three paths in front of you, you put yourself on path one and you analyze and self reflect on the causes and effects that would occur on path one, the same thing for path two and three. And you visualize and you break down each individual event, each individual effect, and you see how it would affect you negatively and you see how it would affect you positively. And then once you do that for each of those forks in the road, each of those paths, then you have a list in front of you of pros, a list in front of you of cons, a list in front of you on where the fuck you want to take your life. And while it may be hard and there may be some outlying conditional factors that you may have not thought of because I had plenty of those factors that I just never even thought to analyze and predict and put into my actual plan and my list, but they will come and you just have to be steadfast. You have to adapt and prevail for whatever situations arise. And I understand the path you may be, I, mean, I understand the path you may choose may be grueling, but in the end, sometimes the most grueling and the most suffering or sufferable task and quest that you embark on are the ones that shape you and shape the man you become. And I really, this is my first kind of video, really visualizing in coming to life. That doesn't make any sense. I'm not gonna cut this video because I'm a one take guy. Uh, um, I officially decided I'm, I'm not cutting videos anymore. The video I make is the video I post. But in closing, pray to God, ask for signs, look for the signs. Don't just pray and then stop. Constantly be looking 24 seven, 25, eight. Look for the signs that God is trying to show you. And once you see signs, visualize, analyze, reflect on how those signs contribute and correlate to the past that you would like to embark on. So for example, mine was obviously moving to Thailand. Tomorrow, I'll be filming a day in the life of Working, honing communication, reading. I'm not gonna film myself reading, that's fucking weird. I'm going to work sessions, 
working out, hitting up a Muay Thai session for the first time. I have a Muay Thai gym in mind. I'm going to do a little bit more research on it, see if it's on Instagram. Hit that up. Film, film a little bit. Maybe I can get one of the one of the coaches or trainers or someone else there to, to film me doing something training. Cause I'm not sure what they're going to put me on because I wouldn't rank my skills and I wouldn't rank my skills as an absolute beginner in Muay Thai. I would rank my skills as well. It's not intermediate. It's in between beginner and, and, and intermediate. But I do need some refining of the basics because I'm not. I wouldn't even class myself as an intermediate. I'm like one step above like an absolute beginner. So I, I just know the absolute basics, but I still want to refine those basics. But yeah, so gym, Muay Thai, eating. Oh, and let me tell you, navigating a Thai grocery store is, is actually a challenge. I had no idea what was going on. Because I'm over here trying to find stuff. I'm, I'm used to shopping in US grocery stores, of course, trying to look for stuff with zero added sugar, clean things that have very little ingredients that are good for you, that our ancestors would have eaten thousands of years ago. That, that's what I eat. But here, bro, it's impossible to find. It's genuinely hard to look for. I have no idea what I'm looking at. So I got eggs, which unfortunately there's no raw eggs that, because I'll, I'll spend whatever I need to on food. I, I, re I really don't care about the price. I just care about the quality and how it's going to affect my health because it's going to, I don't, want, I'm not, I don't want any part of eating poison and putting poison into my body, bro. I, I really don't. But unfortunately, we have what we have, and we're thankful we at least have food to eat. I feel like I adapted pretty fast for the, for the culture shock of all of Thailand. The first day was pretty bad. I was like, what the fuck am I doing? Holy shit, why am I here? But now I'm thriving, enjoying life, living prost. I was going to say living prosperity, but it doesn't make any sense. Living with prosperity and thankful for the abundance of goods that I have to survive. Thankful that we woke up. Thankful that we truly get to chase our version of success because success is subjective and whatever your version of success is, wake up every day and chase that with everything you have. But yeah, tomorrow, I'll film some other stuff. Today was a good day, good video. For the rest of the, day, of the day today, I will be reading. I recently picked up the book Meditations by Marcus Aurelius. And I've never really read. I always thought reading was a waste of time. And for a lot of activities, it is. Like if you're just reading for fun. But if you're reading to consume knowledge and to, well, I guess for fun. Reading is, I can't really elaborate and define it too much. Because I never really read ever in my life. I've just watched YouTube videos if I wanted to learn something because it was more engaging, more entertaining to actually watch those videos compared to reading a textbook. But since I've started reading the Bible, which in some parts of the Bible, it's absolutely boring. I just got through Numbers and Le Genesis, Le Leviticus and Numbers. I just got through Leviticus, Numbers, and I'm all in Deuteronomy now. So some of the most boring books in the Bible, they really are so. But now I feel like I've gained the traction and ability, ability to actually read competently and compendiously and be able to analyze and self-reflect on the words that I read and contribute them to my success and contribute them to my personal growth, my health, my wealth, and my success. So I'll be reading meditations tonight, actually, and I'll be reading pages of that every single day as well as going over vocab words that I have to excel my, excel my communication to a complete echelon of, of existence. I hope this video is making sense. This is kind of my first video of trying to use all of these words and phrases and articulate fucking words that I've picked up and that I've learned. I'm trying to, I'm trying my best to put them in the correct scenarios and correct instances. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the day in the life video of Patsy of Thailand. Peace.